Located 64 degrees north of the equator, it's not called Iceland for nothing. Between October and April, average temperatures here hover around freezing, making it one of the coldest countries in the world. The snow and ice might dominate the landscape, but take a closer look and you'll soon realise they're not the main factors that have created it. From rift valleys to craters and cone-shaped peaks, Iceland's extraordinary landscapes are the result of volcanic activity. Deep beneath the surface of the Earth, two factors combine to make this one of the most geologically active zones in the world. First, Iceland straddles the boundary of two of the world's giant tectonic plates. It's called a divergent margin because these plates are slowly moving apart by a few centimetres each year. And as they move apart, molten rock called magma is forced up into the cracks, crevices and fissures the plate movements leave behind. This means new land is being created, which is why these areas are known as constructive plate margins. The second factor is that Iceland's located on top of a hotspot or mantle plume. These are areas of the Earth's mantle which are unusually hot compared with the rest of the Earth. This means there's even more pressurised magma trying to force its way through the Earth's crust. Here in Iceland, the hotspot coincides with the, with the divergent plate margins. So this uh, combination of a hotspot activity and the, uh, the upwelling magma underneath the plate produces the, uh, the uh, volcanoes of Iceland. And we have 30 volcanic systems, uh, each containing many volcanoes. And the whole sort of active volcanic area is about one fourth of, of the country, 25%. When magma reaches the surface, it's called lava. And in a zone this active, it's rare to get a lava free year. Some eruptions are relatively gentle and even become spectator sports. Others explode with so much force they can be felt and heard hundreds of kilometres away. Most of Iceland's 330,000 people live well away from the dangers of the active zones. But this film is about the thousands of people that have chosen to make them their home.